Welcome back. Satisfactory. All right, we've altered our d blueprint and we're ready to start making supercomputers. All right, as we've noted, we want five of these so we can have 10 machines. Put that right on the corner. We'll go to blueprint mode and see if we can build the rest of these just as easily. There we go. Connect this main bus. We'll have to connect the output side as well, but We'll do that in a moment. All right, so that main bus is connected. Now, we do have a little extra room here that we can play with, but at the end of the day, we still only have, you know, a small amount of non-clippable space, which is right on the edge of this. We wanna bring in four items. We theoretically wanna bring those in Oh boy, total air ball. All right, so we've got four inputs one of which is the computer, which we have direct access to right here. You know, let's check one thing before we get too far into this. We're making 10 machines. So the most we're looking at here is 52.5 plastic per minute. But if we want Okay, 52.5, so that's 525 on a single line. So we can do all of these on one line. So we can bring in just one line of stuff per type.
All right, and then one of the things that we need to make supercomputers, just regular old computers. But we do have sort of a minor dilemma here. So we have the rest of the places within this uh, factory where we use computers, mainly for the, um, the final product. And then we have supercomputers, which is a separate final product. I'm thinking we should just merge everything. That's, that's a shame. Let's try it one more time. Maybe not as close. There we go. Had to take a moment there to see if there was a way out of here. There we go. So half the computers will get sent to the rest of the factory and half will be used to make supercomputers. Do I need this? Yeah, I don't actually need that. We just connect it directly with a lift. This does pose an interesting problem. If I've committed myself to only I think it's all right. We'll go this way. I 
guess we'll have to build the top one first, maybe. I suppose while we're at it, let's get these computers in here. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it's much easier just to build this right here. Oh, wait. Can't connect all of those, though. One of the things that you can always do when you're working the to-do list is like right now I'm trying to remember what items do I go into making the supercomputer in the recipe that I've selected. So if I open this in the codex and then I add to-do list, I now have the items that go into making supercomputers on my list. And we know we've already completed computers, so that's good to go. I'm looking at putting power on this thing so we can load computers up. And this will allow us to loosen up a little bit. Let those computers get built. Yes, while we're here, we can connect the power.
Connect the lighting. One more. All right. Looks like all those basics are done now. And we should be taking in computers, which we are. So now we'll have a little bit of a buffer of computers ready to go. So now it's just a matter of connecting the remaining. All right, now we're getting into potential delivery levels. There is plastic there, but that plastic is spoken for. AI limiters. I could have sworn that our high-speed connectors are over here. I think what I'll do is I'll just take Two of these on a merger. Then I will inline storage. So whatever gets sent off this way. We'll have a little bit of a buffer. Then I'll take what we've got. And we'll send it down the line. I'm thinking the first one is probably the best one for this. All right, high speed connectors are done. 
So we've got high-speed connectors and computers done. Consulting my list, we need AI limiters and plastic. I think the AI limiters are actually in the sorting level. Where did I put those? Here we go. I'm storing them on the ground level down here. Take a shot of these straight into storage. And where do we want to target? Give me a second here. We're going to get ourselves a little power. That's where our AI limiters are. And we want them basically way the heck over here. No. Way the heck over here. I think the way to go here is just to go straight through the floor, right? Figuring out where the right location for this is is going to be interesting. The one way I figured out how to do it is you click it and you kind of drag it down. And see that square right there? That's where it should be. Let's see if that works. Look at that. We're down here. See if we can get this leveled out. One, two, three, four. Yep, four is the answer. All right, we're supplying AA limiters. And we have a ridiculous amount of storage to support it. 
two in storage, industrial storage containers. Then the last thing we need is plastic. Uh-oh. Let's try not to fall off the building here. I guess we could do the same thing we just did. It worked last time. Uh-oh. Did I go one too... This is one level too far. This is the shipping layer. I don't want to be that low. Let's see. So that means there's plastic somewhere in here that I need to find. Oh, there we go. This currently looks like it's going straight into the garbage. Now, how do we get it over there is the question without it being a total spaghetti nightmare. It's going to be a minor spaghetti nightmare, but it doesn't have to be a total spaghetti nightmare. We'll go this way. Though we do want a relatively high capacity amount of plastic. Let's uh, change this. Actually, it's too high, first of all. And we'll make this a smart splitter. And we'll make this the any side, and we'll make this the overflow side. So all the plastic we receive goes over here. We can drop this in this unnecessary hole. So now we're at this point, trying to get to that point. A nice a nice turn like this is the way to go. We want to take it to about right here.
I guess one way to do this would be to... Well, I can't lift it up on that side and this side. I have to drop it down on this side, I suppose. We'll drop it down like this. One little click that way, right? And plastic is delivered. So there you go, we're making supercomputers. Right in here, we'll make a, a little, well, speaking of a little, let's make our collection. I turned the output back this way so we could use the extra space. Because my manufacturer blueprint is 3x4, but all my other blueprints are 4x4. Four four. So we have more room over here to do some stuff if we so chose. And we do. We do choose. supercomputers. We're not really making a bunch of them. 10 machines, so we're making almost 20 a minute. It's actually not horrendously slow. But it's meant to be kind of an extra. Not a full crazy build. And maybe mostly for use in projects. I think I think I want to bring the lower level up instead of the upper level down. Then we'll connect you like this and merge you. Well, we don't actually have to merge you. We just connect you, right? No, wait. We knew what we were doing. We wanted to merge it so we could... Let's do the bottom part first. That'll be more obvious. That's fine. Yes, definitely want a merger. it 
in like this. All right. So that's more or less done. Just looking at the belts, the plastic looks a little wanting. Well, there's plenty of plastic here. I wonder if we are supplying enough plastic. If we go up here, obviously to start, well, that's actually pretty good. It falls off rather quickly, but I think the, I think the plastic supply is sufficient. We'll check and see what it looks like. Yeah, there's definitely some pretty significant gaps in there. So we're taking everything that one's got to offer. This side is totally full. I think we should merge in this other side. Just to make 100% sure, there's no doubt that we have sufficient plastic. So this part of it is not slowed down. So we were definitely dealing with less than, oh, it's overflowing, that's why. Okay. So we have this much overflow now, that's fine. And we're using more of the crystals even though we're not using all of them, but we're not getting distracted by that right now. We're gonna stick to one project at a time, which is making sure that we've got enough well, we want to make sure we have basically max level plastic. And then, as is tradition, we'll pick up a few stacks, hand deliver them to the end of the line.
Yeah, this supply is actually pretty good. These first two machines are already full. First three machines are full. All right. Everybody now has a head start ready to go. Then from here, we have the capability to ship out supercomputers, add them to the drone network, whatever we want to do, wherever we decide the drone network should be, which hasn't been decided yet. This is a pretty good top level. Then we've got that one tower that we can consider something with. So it could be worth it could be worth considering making this the top level. And now all we need to do is have the heavy modular frames and the adaptive control units. And that will complete the computer complex. A lot of the stuff for the heavy modular frames are being delivered. So looking at the numbers i'm supposed to put in my original plan from like a month ago dictates that i put in just over 10 heavy modular frame and 30 adaptive control unit manufacturers so that'll be interesting Adaptive control units take all four, so I have to use the new version of this and of the blueprint. And the heavy modular frames also takes four. Modular frame encased industrial beam steel pipe and concrete. It's like double concrete. But yeah, I think we're all set. And then we'll do a little bit of YouTubery here. Let me pull this out. We've got our thumbnail. Straightforward to the point. If you're building a mega factory or sort of a complex like this, it's not always linearly, literally, it's not always a linear solution, but building more complicated things should get easier as things come into place, right? Like, we already had access to various components. Um, I think we might have overbuilt on our crystal oscillators, but that's a whole different problem. But the fact that we had easy access to these components, computers, which we built on site, plastic, which we brought in by train, AI limiters built on site, and the high-speed connectors built on site, means that this is actually easy to build, right? All we have to do is connect all that stuff up and we're done. So when you're building something like this, try to keep in mind where things are. Leave yourself plenty of space. Like I left myself a shipping layer, a sorting layer, and a service layer. But 
now all we have left is the uh, heavy modular frames and the adaptive control units and we will be pretty close to done I'm going back and forth as to whether I should close this off and have it always be nighttime in here or leave it open so we can see the glass towers um, but I haven't decided on that yet could go either way That's definitely a decision for a future video. I kind of also like this screenshot, but it's less cool. But I'll take it just because that's what I did on the last one. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.